guys, welcome. Uh, a little, 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 little. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Holly Rogers and today I filmed this autumn slash wintry look. Um, it's slightly, the lids are slightly inspired by Holly Boone with just the brown and the white shimmery lids. If you haven't watched her, then go watch her. She's a big YouTuber and she's from the UK as well, so whoop whoop. Um, <laughs> and then I was going to do a red lip, but you'll see throughout the video that I just had a fucking nightmare trying to find a red lip. So I ended up using a very dark... Um, nudie sort of lip which I fell in love with and it also has like a slight ombre um, but let's address the elephant in the room yeah I haven't filmed for a while um, I was just dealing with a lot and still am um, mental wise that sounds ridiculous mental wise but just health wise I guess you could say um, but I figured that videos really helped me and cheer me up so that's what I wanted to do today and I wasn't doing anything so why not film a video? Um, but yeah, just wanted to say that um, I'm just going to do my best to try and upload when I can if that's okay. I don't, know, I don't have too many of you but still if you do watch then and you were wondering this is, this is why. Um, <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much and without further ado, let's go straight to the video. I hope you enjoy. Mwah. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows and prepped my eyes and obviously as you can see I already done this eye um, because I haven't done this look before. So I just wanted to do a test run to see how it would go and it went pretty well. So um, we can do the other eye now. So let's get started. Okay, so I take a little bit of, um, I guess you call it scotch tape and then you just peel a bit off. I might need a mirror close up to... Put it on my eye so what you want to do is put it from you know diagonally to your eyebrow sorry i have to look in a mirror close up <laughs> the thing is with this you have to hope that these are equal and by the tape they look pretty equal i hope it's kind of poking me in the eye but um we can deal with that so i'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit oh way too close but uh it's fine it's fine i'm just going to use this very light shimmery shade for the brow bone fly so all up here and i like to kind of just blend it around with the brush as long as you get all this bit in here then it looks bomb and then just with a big fluffy brush just sort of blend it all in Okay, so we're done with that palette for now, and then we're gonna go in with the Morphe 35O palette, and we're gonna take this nice nudie shade right here, and with the Morphe MB23 big fluffy blending brush, just gonna apply that on the outer V of the eye. Make sure you really go against the um, the scotch tape. That's wrong, right, Buttercup. Come on, come on, then. good girl. Sorry, my cat's here. Go really against the scotch tape. So, because we want this really defined line. Because as I said, it's a replacement for the eyeliner, which I have not done today. Shade right here, just a darker, more burnt nude. It's such a beautiful shade. These are the shades of eyeshadow that I live for and die for. So just do the same, we're just going to deepen this up so we have this going on on this eye. Then we're going to take a nice orangey transition shade from the same palette, this one right here, and we are going to apply this as the transition shade. Just, I like to just place it above everything that I just did. Don't worry, I go and blend like afterwards again, just so it's nice and tidy. I like to clean it up. So I just take this matte white shade from the 35O palette and I just apply it all above here. I go in and do this a few times so that it's just nicely, like I just want that perfect transition so it goes from dark darker and a dark light out to a light orangey transition shade as i've done on this eye right here 
And then we are going to go in with the brown shades. This is mostly a brownie look. So I just start with a lighter shade of brown and I make my way down to these three shades. So I'll let you know when I change them. Um, so I'm just going to start with the lighter one and just apply this. So I'm going to start packing it all onto the lid, the outer V of my eye, I mean, anyway. Just packing it all there. Yeah, and then I'm going to go in with the third, no, the shade down, the darker shade. And pack more on. I go in with a very light hand because when it comes to dark shades, it's something you can't really fix if you um, put too much on. So just be sure of that, that you go in with a light hand and don't add too much product. Test the pigmentation first of an eyeshadow that you use because if it's really pigmented and you go in like hard, then you are going to struggle, especially if it's a dark shade, especially if it's a black. I use a black glider and I use a very light hand with that because it's messy. And then I'm just going in with the darkest shade that I showed you, the third and final dark shade. The last two are kind of the same, but I like to just go in with it anyway. Um, because it really does the trick. So I do put some of it in the crease as well. So then I'm going in with my Morphe brush again. And just very lightly blending it all. I'm going to go in with the, the second brown shade that we used and then pack this on again because you really want a lot of eyeshadow here um, so that it really accentuates the, the false eyeliner flick if you can call it that. So then I'm going to cut the crease with some concealer. Um, I'm just going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer and pack this on the inner corner of my lid, as you can see where I put the white shimmer. I just use this because it's easy precision. And I don't I don't put this on my face. I have another Ellie Girl Pro Concealer that I use for that. Um, just in case you think that's dirty as fuck. I've <laughs> squeezed way too much concealer out there. Oh now it's in my lashes. Whoop whoop! So I'm just going to pat this a bit with my finger because I put a bit too much on and sometimes if you put a little bit too much on it doesn't tend to stick as well. Then I'm going to go in with a small brush and that same white glittery shadow that I used for my um, brow bone and we're going to pack this on the lid. Okay, so that's packed on and then we're going to use a brush to make these two shades blend in together. I'm just using the same brush that I used to apply the brown matte eyeshadow onto my outer V. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of black. So I'm going to use this matte black eyeshadow from the Morphe 35F palette and I'm just going to put it on this little pencil brush. And remember, a little goes a long way, so go in very carefully. To be honest, the black doesn't show up too much through the black eyeshadow, but I like to put it anyway. You, I can see it, but if you can see it on the uh, the video, then well done, you've got great eyesight. <laughs> I'm adding this black because it's what will really make the um the false wing of eyeshadow with this sort of dome shaped brush i'm just going to blend it out i like to bring the black up here a bit like i said to create that false wing and then the best bit is when you pull off the eyeshadow pull off the eyeshadow <laughs> pull the tape off and i mean it's really not gonna look perfect but It's a different fucking... It looks shorter than the, than the other one. Fuck. It's fine. Still kind of know what I'm doing. Kind of not. I'm going to take this makeup wipe. 
and just clean away all this. Time we all make mistakes. It's about um, trial and error, trying again and again and again. That looks so. I mean, is it my? Oh, I think it's my eye shape. You know, I think because I got like oh, that one went so well. Like what the fuck? I mean, I guess I could drag that one and make it shorter. Yeah, that looks so bad. But then I can um, clean it up with foundation. It's fine. It's a mistake that people make. I'll just learn for next time, you know? Okay, so that is the eyes done for now. Um, we are going to go into the skin. My skin is very oily at the moment. Like, it's so gross, but um, what can you do? What can you do? Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Um, I just take some um, black eyeshadow from the Morphe palette, put it on this flat shader, flat brush, I mean. And this is so gross to watch, but I have to show you anyway. I put it in the top waterline of me eye. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going in with the Derm Cole Film Studio Foundation. This is so cheap and really good coverage. This is the three pound um, foundation that everyone's going crazy about. I was meant to film the review, but I didn't. I just, you know, because this foundation is a little bit too light for me, I add in a little bit of um, Rimmel Match Perfection, just a small, um, darker foundation colour. I take this brush and I just mix the shades together on my hand, just kind of warm up the product. Is there a hair in this? No. <laughs> Try this all over my face. And drag it down to my neck. And then I like to go in with a beauty blender afterwards. I start with the bottom half of my face, but I'm also going to take a um, a smaller, more detailed brush so I can sort out this makeup eyeshadow of mine with a steady, steady hand. Okay, we've made it look more equal now. And then we can just go in doing the bottom half of the face with just a damp beauty blender. And we're just gonna blend it all in the ears because you don't want a different colour from your foundation to your ears and then drag it down your neck and just blend it all in and then once that's done we can do the forehead area and around the brows so I'm just going to use this small defined brush again so we can go around the brows and then I'll go around with the big brush around the rest Next, we're going to go in with the concealer, and I'm just using um, the FILA Girl Pro concealer that I had um, that I do not use on my eyes. I'm just going to get a bit out and just use the, the slight feathered pen that they give you, and we're going to highlight underneath the eyes just to make my eyes look more alive because today I look dead as fuck. And then I'm just going to apply concealer to my chin, my forehead, my nose, the bridge of my nose, and I like to put them here, like my laugh line areas, um, and that's where I usually put them. This isn't like a full coverage day, usually I put it like here, although I put loads more concealer on when I do a more full coverage look. Although I am actually wearing a lot, but <laughs> I actually put on more and I'm not ashamed. Okay, so next thing is powder, and I've just got this Rimmel London um, Clear Complexion Ready something clarifying powder, basically just some face powder. And once I need, I need to, I have to make sure that I set the under eye very, very quickly because it will crease from the concealer, and we don't want that. We want it to look perfect. So I'm just applying it here first very quickly before I do anything else. And then with this sort of flat angled brush, I cover the rest of my face. Making sure it's all nice and matte because my skin is so oily as I said, and it gets shiny. I've actually ordered a, um, a face primer because I never use face primers in my video. Um, but 
I got one for oily skin. It's a Jordana. Um, it was probably like one of the cheapest ones I got off Beauty Bay. But I looked at the reviews for it online and they were really good. So anything to help me with my oily skin would be great. Winter's coming now while well, it's autumn. So hopefully it won't be too bad. In the summer it's awful. I should have got one for summer but I didn't. Um, it has its good and bad days. Okay, so we've done the face for now, so we have to go to the under eye area once again. So basically what I'm going to do for my under eye is just use a flat brush for now. And I'm going to start with the second from the third down of browns that I used. Um, and apply this all through my lower lash line. I realise there's a fucking lawn mama someone cutting their grass so that's probably gonna be a really annoying noise i don't know how long that's been going on for but um sorry i can't do much about that but what a time i picked to film right <laughs> and then i'm gonna go in with the shades that i used at the beginning the nice nudie shades and just blend this out i'm going in with that like burnt nudie brown shade which I love. Although I'm, I should put a bit of black on the lower lash line, so I'm gonna do that. Maybe that will actually successfully join up the two. I'm just gonna pack on some black on the lower lash line. There you go, that kind of connects them more. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow done. Then I'm going in with the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Endless Mascara, and I'm just gonna simply coat my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so for falsies, I've got these big fluffy pretty lashes right here. These are actually from Savers. If you live in the UK, you know what it is. It's just like a, a cheap shop, but they have a, a makeup section where they sell Rimmel and everything. And they've got lashes and these are the GWA lashes and they are insane like they are really fucking good and they're so cheap they're like three quid um so if you ever see these get your hands on them i don't think they have a name like specifically but they are the GWA lashes and they are amazing so i'm just gonna apply these on off camera and i'll be right back okay so i put on the false lashes and i just put some eyeliner above the lashes because you don't want to see the glue, and I just added a little bit of mascara. <coughs> added a little bit of mascara to the lashes because they want to look. I want them to look. Boom. So next, we're going into contouring, bronzing, and all that good stuff. And I'm using the NYX Contour Palette. We're going to go in with these two shades for the contouring. So you know where the places go. Just cheekbones. For this, jawline. This is why it's best to put powder down your neck as well, along with like the foundation. One to color match, but also so your contour doesn't go patchy when you apply it to your jawline. Because a patchy contour is not good for anybody. And then I just run this brush down my nose very briefly. And a little bit under my lip and then i'm going in with this night with the orange shade that we use for the contouring along with that but just for the bronzing i'm going to use this and just add this on the cheeks and the jawline and then i'm just going to blend this in ever so Ever so, what's the word? Ever so something. <laughs> um, just so it's nice and blended and not patchy and not looking weird, because that's not what we want. And then I'm not gonna go on my blush today, um, just because everything is quite so intense with the red lip and all that you saw before. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the highlight from this palette. I've hit the pan a lot, so I'm going in with like a very, <laughs> like a small brush around the edges and all that. Oh, the highlighter is just the most fun part. Like, just 
Whoever created the highlighter is just a fucking genius. Like, it's just so great. Who knows? Manny Cooper's bow, too. Like that. Glowing. And then very quickly, you can do like a slight baking. Um, I don't really bake like properly. <sighs> Truth is, I don't really have much to bake with. I should probably try to purchase something, but I'm just going in with these banana shade and just a white matte. And just covering the under eye very briefly. Like that, kind of snatching the nose a bit. Because we obviously we added the contour there. And then I like to do a quick bake of the contour so that it's nice and sharp. And then just add a little bit of extra coverage on the chin and around the face. So that's the contouring and highlighting done. Um, I forgot one thing is adding that pop of colour in the inner corner. Like how could I forget? Oh, I, wow, that was a fucking spasm. Jesus. So I'm just using that white shimmery shade that I use for the brow bone and the lid. And I'm just packing that in here. Like this really makes the look like, how the fluff could I forget? Okay, so as you can see by my hand, I spent like the last 10 minutes trying to find a red lip. I used to have a fucking red lip um, lipstick and I don't know where the fuck it's gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and mix these two together. But I've also got a lip liner. Now I'm done with that one. Fucking hell. Okay, so the red lip idea is being ditched. I'm going in with this. Um, I post about these on my Instagram um, a while ago on my Instagram makeup account. Um, it's the Emmy Way Lux Velvet Lip Stick. What do you call it? A liquid lipstick in the shade Hustle. And it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. So I'm just going to go in with a nude lip liner just so I don't make a mess with the lipstick. We'll go over this with the lipstick. And then go over my lips. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this um, Tarte Tartius lip paint in Bestie, just like a nude shade. And I'm just going to do like a tiny, tiny little ombre effect. See how this goes. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, oh, I like that. Okay, so that finally concludes today's video. Um, that was a lot of trial and errors in this video, but um, I guess it's kind of a good thing because you can learn from this in a sense, but also learn from what I've done, like makeup wise. Um, it turns out a lot differently from what I was expecting it to be, but I'm very happy with the lipstick and how it ended up being. I think it looks a lot more autumn -y, wintry type than a red lip. I've even forgotten how to fucking talk to my camera, like I'm so awkward, like I haven't done this for like months to be honest, so... But that is it for today's video, I really really hope you enjoyed, um, please make sure to give it a like um, if you enjoyed. Um, I will do my best to bring out more videos, right now I'm just a bit stuck in the pit right now, that rhymed, go me. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.